we're going to learn how to make a homemade vitamin C indicator and we're going to show you how to use it and you're going to be surprised at where vitamin C shows up in your kitchen. So in order to do this project you're going to need some distilled water. If you don't have distilled just make sure that it's filtered somehow to get as many of the trace minerals out of it so when you do your test you're really testing the food and not the stuff that's in your water. So you need it as clean as possible. You're also going to need a stove and a saucepan with some adult help. And you want to use an old saucepan, something that you've already dedicated to chemistry would be great, okay? Because we're going to put an iodine in here and that's not something you want to put in your food, okay? And then, of course, you're going to need a little bottle of iodine and you're also going to need some cornstarch, okay? And you can use a dropper if you have a medicine dropper or you can simply use a straw with your thumb over the end so you can um, control the how many drips come out the end so either way is going to work fine make sure you've also got some clear disposable plastic cups that you can put your indicator into or something to store it into like a clean empty water bottle so you can use it when you're done okay let me show you how to do this project so the first thing you want to do is combine about two cups of water into your saucepan and then add a tablespoon of starch. Okay, and go ahead and mix it up. Okay. And then go ahead and turn on your stove and bring this to a boil. After your mixture comes to a boil, go ahead and turn off your stove and allow the mixture to come to room temperature before you add the next ingredient. So I've poured a couple of tablespoons of my cornstarch and water mixture into this small container and now I'm going to add about 10 drops of iodine and my iodine is kind of a yellowish clear liquid which will turn bluish black when it comes into the solution okay and you can either mix it up with a disposable spoon or you can put a top on okay and mix it up that way so now I have my indicator ready to go. So one of the things I want to test is orange juice. So I put some orange juice in a container and using either a straw or a medicine dropper like this, I'm going to add a couple drops to my orange juice and see what happens. You can put the top on, mix it up. My orange juice stays a pretty light color. The lighter the color, the more the vitamin C. Okay, and so let's try something with almost no vitamin C in it. So what do you think about milk? How much vitamin C does milk have? <laughs> let's find out. So go ahead and put a drop or two in there. Cover it up and shake it up. And you'll notice that it turned blue. Okay, so that tells you there's not much vitamin C, if any at all, <laughs> inside of milk. And this milk was actually rice milk, so this isn't right milk from a cow. What do you think would happen if you use the milk inside your fridge? Now there are other substances you can check out as well. So you can test this out on grapefruit juice and orange juice and lemon juice and lime juice and milk and water and soda, all different kinds of things. But you may be wondering, how do I test something like a spinach leaf? You know, I can't just mix up a spinach leaf in here. Well, you can turn the spinach leaf into a liquid first and then you can test it. So you wanna chop it up in the blender with some water, strain out the big pieces, and then you'll be able to test the juice itself. So now you have a really cool way to test for vitamin C. Now remember, there's a couple of different ways to test for vitamin C. You can either line up your cups and add the same amount of your indicator to each one, okay, say 10 drops in each cup, and then keep track of how many drops you have to add of each of your fruit juices, maybe you're doing orange juice and lemon juice, and keep track of how many drops it took for it to go back to colorless, back to its original color, okay? Or you can simply have the same amount of juice in each cup, like a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of grapefruit juice, a tablespoon of apple juice, line them up all that way, and then keep track of the color change as you add two drops of indicator to each cup, or however many drops you want, okay? So there's either way. This is a great experiment to keep track of in a scientific journal.